used for all of these Dollar Tree wreaths were all from, of course, the Dollar Tree. So I first took this wreath form and I also took this burlap ribbon and I wanted to create a burlap wreath. So I just took this ribbon and wrapped it all the way around the wreath form. As I came around, I basically laid it over half of the burlap that was already there, if that makes sense. So you weren't leaving any gaps in between the burlap. And I just did this all the way around the wreath. Once I finished one roll of the burlap ribbon, I just hot glued that and then continued with a new roll. It took me about two and a half rolls to get through the whole wreath. Next, I took one of my favorite ribbons you can find at Dollar Tree with the burlap theme, but this one has the lace in the middle of it. I just think it's so pretty. I did essentially the same thing that I did with the first burlap, except this time I left a gap in between as I was wrapping it. So I didn't overlap it. I left the gap so you could see the other burlap underneath it. This time I didn't even use a whole roll and I again hot glued it once I got to the end. Next I took this Harvest Blessings Dollar Tree sign that I thought was so cute and I glued that to the wreath as well. Next I took some of these white pumpkin clips and I snipped the bottom off and took the actual clip off. And then I also took some of these stems that have the leaves and the little orange pumpkins on it and I clipped the pumpkins off of those stems. Before I wanted to glue anything down, I kind of wanted to come up with an arrangement that I wanted to do on the wreath, so I started playing with that before I went to gluing. Then I decided to start with the white pumpkins and kind of place those where I wanted them to go, and then I added in the littler orange pumpkins after that. Then to finish the wreath off, I just took some of the leaves that were on the stems with the little orange pumpkins and placed those around the pumpkins. I think the leaves just added a nice finishing touch and I'm so happy with how this wreath turned out. My daughter said this is her favorite wreath that I made and I really, really love it and I hope you guys like it too. I took another one of these wire wreath forms and I found this really pretty ribbon that has these gold leaves all over it I thought was just so pretty. So I ended up using five, well I actually ended up using six of the rolls but to start out with I'm just using five and I'm cutting them into eight inch strips. So this does take a little bit of time but if you wanna go ahead and put on a fall movie I think this is a perfect little fall craft to do when you're watching a fall movie. After I cut them into eight inch strips, I divided them up into eight pieces and I was going to use eight pieces per section of the wreath. Then all you do is take the ribbon and fold it in half and then loop it around the first two wires and make a little knot and pull it tight. And it's super easy, like I said, it's just a little time consuming. So I did this all the way around the wreath, putting eight pieces in each section. I did a wreath like this last year for Halloween and I used black ribbon. So I guess using the black ribbon with the black wreath form, I didn't notice it as much, but I definitely noticed this time around the pieces weren't quite long enough to cover the outer edge of the wire. I probably could have cut the pieces longer and it would have just solved the whole issue but since I already had everything cut so I went ahead and took a sixth roll and cut those into eight inch strips as well and added those to the outer edge where I needed to fluff up the wreath a little bit more. 
Before I added the extra ribbon in, I wanted to go ahead and fluff out my wreath so I could see exactly where I needed to add the extra ribbon into. So to fluff it, you just take the ends and pull each side like away from each other and that will fluff the ribbon out. So I went ahead and went around the whole wreath and you can see you just I just needed to add a little bit more fluff into it. So I took the ribbon and divided it in half like I did before and then just put it around the outer two um, wires. And I didn't do eight per section in this one. I kind of just filled it in where I felt like I needed to add some extra ribbon in there. Then I took this little wall sign and I wanted to use the outer sparkly edge. You're not gonna see it, but I wanted to use it for support for what I wanted to glue onto the wreath. I just thought this would give it a little extra support and I knew you wouldn't really be able to see it. So I took that and I glued that to the back of the wreath. Then I wanted to use the new little sign, Gather with Grateful Hearts, that Dollar Tree has this year and one of their new pumpkins and put it right in the middle of the wreath. I pulled the ribbon back a little bit and put glue right on there. That way I could attach the Gather with Grateful Hearts onto that. I used their like fix-all heavy duty glue and it worked perfectly. I also added it onto the pumpkin and attached it. I just let it dry for a few hours and everything was super sturdy. I've had it on there for a few days now and it, everything seems super secure. It doesn't feel like the sign or the pumpkin will fall off. I would just say make sure you give it a good amount of time to fully dry and adhere to what you're gluing it to and it should be fine. I love the way this wreath turned out and I love the way the little pumpkin and the sign go into the wreath. I think they work so well together and I'm super happy with how it turned out. For my last wreath, I wanted to make a berry wreath. I've never made a berry wreath before, but I've seen them. I always think they look so pretty, so I tried my hand at mine. So I took six of these berry stems. I took three of them in the orangey red colors and then three of them in the more yellowy colors. I wanted it to be very like traditional fall colors. Once I pulled all the stems apart, I then just started placing them around on the wreath. I thought this was going to be a little easier than it was. Trying to round the stems was a little bit more difficult for me than I thought, but I just kept gluing and kind of working my way around the wreath. I started with the more orangey red ones first, and then I started adding in some of the yellow ones on top of it and mixed it in with that. This definitely isn't the most perfect berry wreath, but it achieved the look I was going for. If any of you have done any berry wreaths in the past and have any tips or advice on how to do them a little bit better, let me know because I would love to make another one for Christmas time. I took one of the galvanized words that come in a three pack and I decided to go ahead and use the welcome one and I just stuck it right in the middle of the wreath. It may not be the perfect berry wreath, but I am happy with how it turned out. I think it looks real pretty and I would love to make another one even better for Christmas time. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe gave you a little inspiration to make a fall Dollar Tree wreath of your own. If you know anyone that might enjoy this video as well, I would love for you to share it. But that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.